Hi guys, so today is another episode of my Grail or Fail series and today it's going to be on the Mark Matt Chance Mattifying Lotion. So I showed you this in my updated skincare routine and I really liked it. I told you I would do a separate review on it, so that's what this is. I told you guys it's a grail, obviously. So the ingredients on this are sugarcane and pumpkin seed, and that's really what mattifies your skin. I think it was about $16, and my friend's mom's an Avon representative, so I got it from her. However, there's so many girls in the YouTube beauty community who are Avon representatives, so if I find any, I'll put some down below. If not, just watch some people's videos, because I'm telling you, like, literally everyone is an Avon representative. So when you take the cap off... It comes like this, and it has a little squirter pump, and you're supposed to press down, and the product comes out. But for mine, for some reason, it doesn't, so I never use it like that. I just twist off the cap and use it like that. Now, also, one more thing. The packaging is really cute, but it can be a little problematic. Hold on. Let me show you. Sometimes you could take it I don't know you could take it all out and because this little white container comes out of this plastic container so that gets kind of annoying because sometimes when I open the top you saw that it just slides out so it's a white consistency as you can see I've used a pretty good amount it smells a little bit like coconut I'm just guessing on my lips yeah a little bit of coconut mixed with alcohol like rubbing alcohol which is kind of a weird smell but it smells pretty good. Now, the thing about this that I like is it seems to moisturize my skin, but it it keeps the oil out. So that's the point. It's a mattifying lotion, and it's for oily skin. One problem that I do find with this is, as you can see a little bit on the sides, it gets a little crusty, and sometimes i found that I've had like a little bit of crust on my face, and it looks really strange. So that's the only problem that I found with this. Um, the consistency is really drying, if that makes any sense, so you got to put it on your fingers and rub it in right away because it's not very blendable. So you just take some and rub it, and it mattifies your face, and you could totally feel right away instantly how it kind of strips away you of the oils, which is awesome because that's the point of the lotion. I have found that my face gets really oily if I don't put this on. I don't have super oily skin, but I do have like medium. I have combination. So without this, my T-zone gets really oily, and I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like a 12 o'clock oil at school, or like a 1 o'clock oil, like around that time, I start feeling the oil form on my face, and it's really disgusting, and I seem to find that this only happens at school. I don't know if that happens with any of you, but it definitely happens with me. So, I've been using this a lot to put on my T-zone and all over my face, and this has become my moisturizer, my um, daily moisturizer. For my night moisturizer, I'm just finishing up my um, the Target brand of the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I'm just using that. But I do feel like this moisturizes my face somewhat, but the main problem, I mean the main reason why I use this is to keep away oil, and I have found that it does a pretty good job of that. So for the people that have oily skin, I would really recommend this. I have seen a difference in my skin. Not necessarily that I've seen a difference in my skin when I use it, but I've definitely seen a difference in my skin when I don't use it. So I know it's working. Um, it's, let's see, how many fluid ounces? It's 1.7 fluid ounces and it's 16 bucks. So it is a little pricey, at least for my liking, but I'm telling you it's pretty worth the money. I want to try some other things from Mark, but like I said, they're a little pricey, but from the looks of this first moisturizer, I really want to get more of the oil products. So this is definitely a grail for me. If any of you have tried this, tell me what you like. It's called Matt Chance again, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little review, and let me know if you have any products you want me to try out, or feature, or so on and so forth. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you soon.